baby. Time to get ready to go to the farm. Hello, it is the second day of vlogging, and we're about to get ready and have a good day. <laughs> if I could insert a song to describe what it's like getting ready in the morning to go somewhere early, it would be like Flight of the Bumblebee because <laughs> we are here trying. It's hard. Work. Trying to get stuff out the drawer, and he's knocking stuff over on me. Mornings are hard. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Maybe, or we might just be fine in the car. What are you doing, baby? Yeah. Hmm? No, it's spring. I'm an outfit repeater, so I'm wearing the same pants I wore yesterday. You get to see that featured in today's vlog. Enjoy. <laughs> today's shirt with yesterday's and today's pants. I'm gonna get this little monster dress too. <laughs> and the baby's outfit. You wanna wear that? <laughs> what are you doing? You don't know. <laughs> I think so I post about our homeschool adventures as well on a different page and website. If y'all are ever interested in that, look up Tiny Green Earthling. I'm giving you super simple for breakfast. We are having peanut butter and honey sandwiches. Doo -doo -doo. Um, and I am packing um, crackers and salami and pepperoni and some fruits and veggies for the sides for our lunch at the farm today. Baking soda and some water. Still not dressed. I'm trying to get there, but breakfast is served. <laughs> trying a new tea that I got. I've been searching for like a mint tea that's actually good. <laughs> uh, because a lot of times they're super weak and not tasty. And yeah. So I'm going to try this out and let y'all know how it is. It's a bunch of tea bag. I don't know how I'll have to read and see because people put anything in the packages. You're good to go. You need to get your water. Or, no, you left your water in the truck, didn't you? Hi, Dad. Hey, baby. Yeah. You did. Go fill up brother's water for me, please. No. Be careful and thank you. No. Wow. <laughs> spray your hair. No, we're not washing hands right now. Spray your hair. No, don't do that. We have to go. <laughs>
We visited Timberview Farmstead with our homeschool co-op and we learned some very interesting facts while we were there. Our guides showed us all the animals and we learned that sheep and goats do not have top teeth in the front of their mouth. The bottom teeth only help them gather grass up very easily. Did you know they didn't have teeth at the top in the front? If not, now you know. I learned that longhorns can also be female. I thought they were just bulls. I discovered that I wasn't the only black girl or black family that used horse shampoo on my actual hair. Raise your hand or leave a comment if you've also used mane and tail shampoo and conditioner on your hair. It's not just for the horses. It worked for us too before many dedicated products came out for black women. Almost all donkeys have a cross shape on their back. It is believed to be associated with Christianity in some way because it was a donkey that carried Christ to the crucifixion, the cross. Rabbits, like some other animals, have teeth that continuously grow, so they must continuously eat and chomp them down. Baby ducks cannot float in water until their mother puts oil from their own body onto the bottom side of the duck. A random fact about their shop, the artist who makes mugs for Magnolia also makes mugs for Timberview Farmstead. I hope you enjoyed these random facts we learned at the Timberview Farmstead. And if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, give them a visit. The staff is extremely knowledgeable and kind and it is a great time to spend learning about the animals and aquaponics with your young kids. <laughs>the landfill right now because we moved a year and a half ago and the neighborhood that we moved to um, nobody has recycling bins there was not a recycling bin at our house like there was at the previous house and all previous all the previous houses we lived in um, that we rented they had recycling bins there and I was nine months pregnant when we moved so I wasn't doing anything um, the summer before or like couple months before I was part of a master composting class which took place right here in the building where we're about to pick up the recycling bin so I would come out here every Saturday I was like four or five months pregnant with B and uh learn about composting well it was a really really cool experience um and we got to tour this city's landfill and a neighboring city's landfill and composting program very informational fun things I didn't get to finish my master composting class um and get the certificate because i was nine months pregnant <laughs> um so i didn't get to like volunteer the hours that i needed to to do that i'm hoping to do that in the next few years i would like to finish that up and actually take like a master gardening class too um gardening i love it but it's so hard for me to grow plants it took like seven years of trying for me to finally get a good harvest um it was like three years ago and then I tried when I was pregnant as well, but I was just too tired to get out there. Um, in Texas and DFW, Northwest Texas, um, North Texas, it gets hot like 9.30 in the morning. 
So like if you want to do anything outside and you can't stand the heat, you have to get up early and do it. I was pregnant. I was tired. I just couldn't do it. So those little plants did not thrive. But we are going to get plants this week. I think maybe today when we leave here, we might. I don't know. The baby's tired. He's asleep. Um, but yeah. So we are at the landfill back here. Fun times. And we're going to pick up a recycling bin and finally have a recycling bin. I'm excited about it. Um, I have been like pessimistic about recycling bins too though because only 10% of things that we even send get you know truly recycled the numbers are they just prove that like it's kind of sometimes it feels like a fruitless effort but I'd rather try than not and I'd like to stop throwing recyclable things in the trash so we are going to get our recycling bin and do our part and hopefully it makes it to where it needs to go in order to avoid ending up in a landfill So we picked up our recycling bin and now we are at a local nursery to get some soil and some plants for the garden. You excited to work in the garden? Yes. Yeah, me too. Especially finding bugs. That's my most favorite part. Finding and bugs watering the hose. Mm -hmm. I like that too. Cool. Let's go. Now let's get out of this car. <laughs> finding rakes for the kids <laughs> so there's that um and got some stuff for dinner for the rest of the week too so i'm excited about that we got a hanging pot for some strawberries it's looking real gardeny back ready to get in the garden tomorrow and all summer long and maybe even into the fall
So for dinner, I am making an Alfredo chicken bacon cheddar bay biscuit pizza. My husband sends me uh, Instagram recipes all the time because I'm always like, I don't know what to cook. I'm tired of cooking the same stuff. And this has been fun, actually. It was, it just started to happen. He sends a lot and I have my well-managed folders on Instagram and I save it there. And so I'm about to make this pizza because it looks delicious. So I will let y'all know how it turns out. Hopefully I remember to get a picture and record it after it is done because I did not do that last night. Somebody come get this little warrior. About to fall. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bacon, yum yum. I'm using the um, caraway. What you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Give me shea butter before bed. You got enough? Okay, that's too much. Okay, there you go. Rub it on your arm. I'm getting too good at getting it out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You have mommy with the shea butter. Okay. Oh, way too good. Thank you. Today was a good day. We went to the farm and that was so much fun. I'm exhausted from it, but I love experiences like that where both parents and kids are learning and then in exchange, the people who are teaching us are learning random things from this too. I love moments like that. Um, we got a recycling bin from the landfill. So tomorrow is recycling day and we'll be setting it out. So um, we got a lot of plants to get the garden started right. I planted seeds out there um, and I'm pretty sure the rain is just like killed them. Um, I didn't plant them early enough, so they they weren't ready for that. And so we got a bunch of seedlings, and we're gonna transplant those. And um, G got a house plant, his first house plant to take care of. And that's the end of day two of the vlog. I'm about to work a little bit and go to sleep so that we can get up bright and early and get in the garden. See y'all later. Bye.